We must hurry to assist our allies. Understood? Looks like we're gonna check into this article from Tech Radar to know what have we learned from Fable 4. So let's begin. So far, we, we only know a few things. It's coming out in 2025. It's the fourth installment, Xbox exclusive, Playground Games. Now for gameplay, while we yet to receive any concrete details on the Fable character's mechanic, there are some glimpses of what we might be able to expect this latest trailer. Swords combat are shown, with the warrior depicted in battle with a bandit before performing some sort of finishing move, throwing them on the ground. Another shot of gameplay shows the main character throwing firebomb the group of enemies, suggesting that these sort of items might be making a return. Unfortunately, this is all we've seen so far, alongside some in-engine cinematics. According to Aaron Greenberg, the general manager of Xbox Games Marketing at Microsoft, did manage to make clear that after the reveal, it is obviously going to be a role-playing game. Though this gives us a little go on in terms of specific, it confirms Fable 4 take place and emphasize on storytelling, character customization, player agency, much like its predecessor. We don't know anything yet about Fable 4 main character, but there are a few details we can glean from the teaser we've seen so far. Firstly, it seems the main character be a hero of some kind, could potential spell connection with the Guild of Heroes, powerful organization of do-gooders who features in the original Fable 2004. It also seems that our hero will do a battle with Richard Ayodi's giants at some point. The Fable franchise is no stranger to including celebrated actors and comedians. Fable 3 Famously include Monty Python, veteran John Cleese, comedian Stephen Fry, and actor Simon Peck. It includes Ayo Ade in Fable 4. Beyond just the cameo in the trailer seems likely given the tradition. Why it hasn't been confirmed, it also seems probable that our main character was also highly customizable. The Fable games has always been big of letting you tweak your characters physically, cosmetically, and it would be odd for Fable 4 to continue the trend. We might also see a return of appearance changes based on the character morality too. In the original trilogy, evil choices would net you devil horns and sinister looking eyes while good choices will get you a halo and angel wings. We imagine Fable 4 will iterate on these systems in some ways though we're not sure quite what's in store in the game. Okay, that is the one thing we need to know. Customization. Where do we heard from that? Ah yes, Dragon Age Veilguard. If you see the Dragon Age Veilguard customization, the breast size, when it goes to 100%, it didn't go far. Butt size, where many female gamers are making fun of it, including Savvy, they are complaining why the butt size is too short. If I had to make a guess, they're probably going to include surgery scars as well. We haven't heard anything from them, so they're probably going to implement that, which given it's Microsoft, they're probably going to virtue signaling to the trans or the pride people. Now, player choice, which hopefully, hopefully it will be similar to Baldur's Gate 3. If not, it's going to be like Dragon Age Veilguard where the player choice, I'm certain some of you who have played Dragon Age Veilguard, which I know you do, you probably think that it's not the same with either Baldur's Gate 3 or Dragon Age Origin or Inquisition. But I don't think, or perhaps, I'm not certain if many of them who make Fable are aware of the election results, considering the fact where they come from. So I'm certain that if they were aware, they probably think the same thing, they, they brush it off. Remember, this is Microsoft. They probably have heard about it, and I don't think they're going to be happy or perhaps be accepted the results. And it's going to be a world of hurt for them. And I don't know if this game will be delayed. Based on this, uh, regardless if they delayed it, and they're going to do what many of these bogies will do. They will release it either in a buggy state. They will put the message first, and then gameplay and story second. Then again, we don't buy them. And they will say, if you don't like this game, don't like the politics of it, don't buy it. Problem solved. And gamers do just that. And then they will blame people why this game failed. You performed your task admirably. While you have undoubtedly incurred numerous obligations and forged many friendships within the enemy camp, remember that they are still the enemy. The strength of this fan that I wield lies within the strategies of its user. Well, would you like to give it a try? Leave a like and subscribe if you want any woke or anti-woke detected, you can visit my second channel up here or link in the description.